Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to use diatomaceous earth on your seed starts to control fungus gnats, but it works for any crawling insect. Um, I'm also going to talk about neem oil real quick, but I have other videos on that. And the biggest thing is, is you want to set up your seed starts so that the edges stay dry, so when we get to the diatomaceous earth, it doesn't get wet. So neem oil spray, I'd make real quick teaspoon in a quart of water like this, enough soap so that when I shake it up, the oil gets dispersed through. And I spray the bottoms with the neem oil, get beads of oil all over the place, and then put them away. So when the fungus insects, or fungus gnats and insects go and crawl underneath there, they crawl through the neem oil. I also spray the tops down to get the neem oil on the seed starting mix, but I don't want beads of water on here. So you would spray your sprays first, make sure everything is dry so that when you get to the diatomaceous earth, it's going to be effective. This is basically fossilized uh, remains of microscopic organisms and the shells that are left behind are silica. It's very, very sharp. It doesn't affect us, um, but it gets into the joints of the crawling insects and slowly grinds their bodies down. So this is what I learned. So here is an example of the, the earth that I've been using, and you can see that it's staying dry along here. Originally, I put it on the soil, and right away it picked up the uh, moisture. Once it gets wet, it's just not as sharp, it doesn't cling to the insect. You want the crawling insect to walk through and touch this powder so it gets in your joints, and they, get, um, and they die because the, the silica just grinds on their joints, wears down their shell, and eventually they dehydrate and are harmed. So, you want to start with dry plastic through here. You also want, and this is really important, because this is where I normally water from, you also want a empty seed starting cell over here because fungus gnats not only climb on the top, they go underneath, they get into the root system of these cells from down here through the holes, lay their eggs, and keep the life cycle going. So what you want to do is simply sprinkle it along the plastic edges and you know you'll have to reapply if it gets really wet but it can last here for a good seven days when you bottom water the water of course isn't going to get up on this plastic so it'll stay dry so you're watering your plants you're taking care of your plants and the crawling insects We'll try and get underneath it or walk on the soil surface and I'll walk on the black plastic and I'll pick up the microscopic dust, the silica. Now, over here, let's see if I can move that, just pack it in there. That'll get all messed up at the bottom when you water, but that's okay. The insects will crawl through this. They don't know what it is. They'll get it on their body and it will help control them. It doesn't technically wipe out the entire population, but if you can control the fungus gnats or the crawling insects, you're going to do perfectly fine and your plants will be okay. So this is how you set up the diatomaceous earth for the seed starts. Now, if, let me move this. If you get them and you've had stuff growing for a little bit, like this is uh, basil that I've been growing for a video. Again, if you can get it on the edges, that's fine, but they're not really going to crawl up here. They're going to go right to the soil. You can put some on the soil and that will get any that are down there, but just go ahead and put it on the leaves. This is not toxic to you and I. It is not a poison. So if it gets on an insect or anything like that, it doesn't poison them. It doesn't kill them that way. It kills them again by them their joints just slowly moving and getting the silica into their joints and it grinds down their shells. But you could just dust it over the plants this way. Anything crawling on here would go ahead and get it in their joints. This is how I recommend using the diatomaceous earth for your seed starts. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you are buying seeds, I want to say I have a seed shop open now on Shopify. These are some lettuce seeds. This is Selway. I'm selling them now. If you're interested in checking out my seed shop, it's at www.therustedgarden.com. Um, I'd appreciate any kind of help getting my seed shop up and going. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great 2017 gardening season. Thanks.